What's going on guys? It's me Pavin. And if you guys are looking to improve your Madden game and want to learn firsthand from someone who's made deep runs in the Madden $750,000 club championship tournament, I'm your guy. I recently just dropped my New York Jets offensive ebook and alongside that is my game plan for additional $10. So my offensive ebook is $20, game plan 30, game plan you get a couple defensive setups and I will be updating both these ebooks, both these game plans as the year goes on. Really great offer. The link will be down in the description. Go check it out, 818madden.com. I know this will make you a better Madden player. What's going on guys? Welcome to episode two of Road to the Classic. Basically guys, in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down how I did over the weekend. And if you guys did compete slash are still competing, let me know down below what your records were per console, whatever console it may be, what teams you rocked out with. And if you're feeling ready to go for this weekend, if you are still in the tournament, maybe I'll pick one lucky random winner that you know maybe we could lab up a little bit. But yeah, man, like I said, I'm gonna assess how I did during this weekend, my record, who I played, and you know, at the end of that, we're gonna be going into a couple of highlights slash you know clips of some good players that I played and some losses maybe and you know what I could uh, take away from each and every game and you know improve on the next episode I plan to you know show the bracket and possibly quite possibly show like you know my first couple rounds of the games and how they went you know with this tournament anything could happen so you know hopefully I could keep stacking up these wins and you never know what could happen with all that being said and taken care of, let's go check out how I did over this past weekend in the first stage of the Madden class. All right, guys. So the first week, or excuse me, the first day was, I believe, Saturday. It started at 10 o'clock on the dot. And, you know, I, I played it out from 10 o'clock almost up to the, uh, you know, final time when the time closed. And as you guys can see right there, 10 and 2, not bad at all, man. Really honestly solid. Um, rank 17, pretty solid as well. And, you know, that's what we did on PS4. And here is the list of, you know, the top players on PS4. It was Noah, Crush, Young Tony, Decroft, Spoto, uh, Spamming Buttons, Native, Native Taxpayer, Ace Jit, which is that boy. I don't know who I'm Mr. Right Now is. Vose, we all know who Vose is. And then, you know, who else is in front of me is Ice. Do not know who this guy is. Nice and gamer tag. Goose, Cover 3 Cloud. Money Man Michi, Too Easy, and last not, but not least. So guys, two losses on the PS4 side. Let's go check out how we did on the Xbox now. And there you guys can see 45th rank. Not the best compared to PS4, but then again, I didn't play as many games as I had played on PS4. You know, I kind of got a little maddened out, so I stopped playing for a little bit, but then, you know, I picked it up to get some nice sweaty games in. And, you know, we didn't go undefeated in either bracket, which is a little concerning, but it's all good. If you're gonna get some losses, and the way you'd rather have it now than you know later on when it's single a limb. Quite a nice list of you know um, players in front of me. Um, I think it'll, yeah, this is what I should have done on PS4. I'm gonna go back to it, see all your matches, and here we go. We started off with playing J Street One, Joker Kale. Shout out Joker Kale. He played a really good game. He was I think top ten. We could check after this. Um, I think I was his only loss. So you know that was a great game right there, very early on. Uh, we won that game. We played Rarts, Lion on Demand, Madden players, Madden's players, X Braden 999, Real D Fred, and last uh, last two games were Dr. Joey and Mikey Mikes. And you know, shout out to Dr. Joey. He gave me a really good game. And uh, I I was losing at first. I wish Xbox uh, had this you know record feature that PS5 does. It just doesn't. So I couldn't get any of my gameplays. I could have hit, hit record on OBS, but I wasn't really thinking at the time. But you know, he beat me. Uh, he was running trips and bunch tight end and you know he he wasn't like no one's really that good on defense and regs but you know he he was good enough to get a couple stops on me and that really changed the game and right here we're gonna check our ps4 matches and we played lo a lot of games and here we go soul crusher mr young rude boy reese vv sickness jordan lash this guy's using the colts i'll be breaking down some gameplay in a little bit I don't want to talk about it. We, then after that, you know, it's crazy. We, we lose to the Colts guy, but then we bounce back and beat Ghost. We beat Bunch tight end. We got lucky in this game. Drop shot, we won. Bam beat us. Good game to him. Bam's my guy. Woo cap a lot. And then I'm not going to say this guy's name, but he was a decent player. I have some clips on him. And then ultimate football. So 10 and 2, 8 and 1. Let's go jump into some gameplay and assess, you know, what I need to fix, improve on. 
Hopefully you guys could get better by watching this as well. All right, guys, this is me playing Bam. Um, and he was beat, he was really good. I didn't record my game uh, versus him, but I did record this one clip. This clip was wild. That's all I gotta say. Just watch this clip and you know, just, just watch it, man. I might have to rewind that because that was very instant. Um, yeah, th all that just happened, man. And you know what? He's going to take it for six. And you know what also? He gets ball at half. I'm not going to say like I had something open as a, the, cut cl uh, the clip cut short right there. Um, I had the post. I really, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't throwing it. But to get a pick six, six off that and get ball out of half was pretty wild. This is kind of why I lost this game. Like I said, I could have bounced back and fought. He outplayed me pretty much but this was a really wild play and once more i'm gonna show you guys peep the right side of the field look at it darius smith right here guys he just comes off free on a three-man rush that wasn't even a uh what's it called that was even a, a, a what's it called a blitz that was a contained by him and you know what that's just a pick six man those plays man are super wild and you know i'm gonna have to watch out you know i couldn't control what happened right there but still you got to play super safe especially in this tournament. But here is a guy that I lost to, one of the guys. And he's using the Colts as we see right here. Um, I throw a hot dot, get my feet in bounds. Let's go, man. <laughs> um, you know, I end up losing to this guy. But we'll see what happens throughout the game. And you, like I said, he's using the Colts. <laughs> Anyone could win. And right here, guys, he's not using Phillip Rivers. He's not using Jacoby Brissett. He's using Jacob Eason. And this dude is a straight demon. It's right here. We're in some match coverage. Everything matches on correctly, and we're just going to go take off after him. Right here, it's a third and four. We're once more in the match. We're sending two. Uh, definitely something I got to improve is, you know, I got to start blitzing more. Probably, honestly, more often than not, people don't like when you blitz more. And two, when you send the heaters, it's right here. Delay fade. Great dot. And right after that, I decided, you know what? We're going to have to blitz the crib right here. That's what we do. And we should have picked that off, guys. I was reading that the whole way. I wouldn't say should have, but, you know, we were there to pick it off. It's right here, guys. Nothing open. He's just going to throw the ball away. And right here, crucial third and eight, man. Um, he just runs a slant. And then playmakers it up. Nothing once more. Great defense. And you know what? He decides to punt. So, you know, I thought this game was over. He stopped me in the goal line in the first drive. And I'm like, you know what? This game is 100% over, guys. So after driving down the field... On a couple of nice plays, running some PA boot over. This is kind of where things started going downhill. I actually missed a field goal, man. And that happened to me a couple times this game. And look how close it was. That's on me, man. I was just trying to rush through games, play the next one, play the next one. And I kind of rushed through that field goal. And, you know, that, that's not a good look, man. So the whole game was looking nice. And this is where he starts to take over. He finds this nice run play, a shotgun power. And the thing with the Colts, they're actually really good with the run game. Um, he was subbing in Jonathan Taylor, Naeem Hines, you name it. They have the best O-line in the game by far, I want to say. Uh, add that with Puller Elite, as you see right here. Not that many yards, but I mean, still effective, very effective. The holes are there. It's right here once more. This guy is in, in the, on demon time. Again, the power. And this time, he is pretty much going to be out of there. We end up not making the tackle, making the tackle, and I think that was Jonathan Taylor right there. This two-back system was very demonic, to say the least. And guys, I'm not gonna lie, this turned into one of those games where I was super on tilt, and I just started thinking to myself, I just had to run boot over every play. And you know, right there, I should have took that as a sign that you know th bad things are on the way because uh, A. Rod sold that first pass, and we saw the stat line. Um, he really couldn't stop me. 9 of 13, 200 yards. I should have just kept doing what I was doing. But I really just started all of a sudden throwing these passes. Once more, another under pressure by A-Rod. And I'm not going to lie. I thought that was a dot. His user just came out of nowhere kind of. And I'm not going to lie. It wasn't the best pass. But then again, he was kind of right there. So just like that, man, we're back in a, back and down by three in a hole. And, you know, Aaron Rodgers, man, he's a GOAT quarterback in this game. But... His, his throw under pressures are kind of wild compared to Brady, has, who does have fearless. So that's something definitely to, you know, take into account. As once more, I'm trying to find an uh, answer for this. And, you know, it's been on and off. I just had to pinch my D-line right there. It does a kind of good job. And right here, my opponent, 
is just about to just call some random play out of some random formation. Not such a random formation as in bunch, but still. And I felt like Amos has to pick that off, man. He's like high zone player and my opponent goes no huddle. But to save you the time, he ends up kicking three. And you know what, guys? We once more come out and boot over again. And people are open. But once again, do you see what I was talking about in this game? I don't even know who that guy is. Um, he picks us off. And I'm not going to lie. I didn't hit A or anything. I was hitting A for my guy to release. And I guess they registered it as, you know what? He's trying to throw it to A. Which really wasn't the case. And right here, Jonathan Taylor once more up the middle. And you guys could see the trend of this game. I really don't want to find myself in a game like this. So I'm definitely going to be super extra cautious. And, you know, I should have stopped running that, that bunch tight end formation uh, versus this guy. At least he had a nice defense versus it. I wouldn't even say that. But he definitely knew what to do versus boot over. It's right here, man. I'm selling out options. I'm in over G now and boom we make a hit stick Kevin King unfortunately just doesn't have big hitter otherwise he'd be one of the best players in regs as right here guys once more in the over G my opponent is giving me a nice tour and right there power O once more with the Colts results in the touchdown so right here guys I'm honestly just calling plays fast as I can and I get hit and then there's another interception obviously out of bounds but you know, my stat line went from like 9 and 12, 9 and 13, to now 9 of 16. I cannot complete a pass. And, you know, I just decided, you know what, he's just playing zone drop D. Look at how far back his purple slash clouds were. And once more, we throw this out route again. And just, just I could have been doing that this whole time. But instead, I decided to run boot over and try to, you know, make plays happen. Very, very dumb. Very, very stubborn. It happens to the best of us. It happens a lot of the time. It's right here. Look at this contain. These contains are kind of souped up, man. We saw in that last clip versus Bam, he got a nice uh, free runner on the contain. And I was on aggressive, but that doesn't change the fact that his contain literally just came in free off the disengage. It's right here, guys. I'm just running the same play, trying to score fast. I had the seam open, and right there, that's just when you know things aren't going your way. And right here, the same thing again, running the same play. And I try to just chuck it. But Aaron Rodgers was super tired. That's going to chalk this game up as a loss. I know already, you know, what I got to do if I play this guy. You know, honestly, I'm not saying it, but I'm going to say it. I wish I do play this guy again so I could get my low-key revenge. And I, I know I'll know how to beat him this time. And the next game is versus ghost madden guys i'm gonna move my face cam for a second so you can see and there it is you see ghost madden in the top right corner this is going to be a great game to say the least so immediately after losing to jordan aka the colts guy that's what we're going to call him guys just call him the colts guy i matched up with ghost and you know to say to say the least i was a little mad um obviously this is actually a really good rep and this is very good content for you guys to watch right now but, you know, I thought I was going to get two losses. Well, I didn't think I was going to lose, but, you know, I thought for sure this could be a potential loss. And that would have definitely made me a little mad. It's right here. Simple out route. And we're kind of bad, guys. And we try to make that read right there. But, you know, he plays good defense. Can't expect A-Rod to make every throw. It's right here, guys. Titan is going to be wide open on this mini hitch. We make the read very late just to, you know, see what's going on. And the one thing about the Bucks, they are pretty good in the run game. And as you see right here, literally everyone just sheds on the run. Right here, guys, running a little Z spot action. And we're kind of bad. We're just going to throw this away. Good match defense. And right here, PA boot over, crosser wide open. And that's Devontae going in to the two yard line. That last play, he really just had a bad user. Is right here, AJ Dillon is going to fight for us. He honestly just had a bad user. Everything was kind of guarded up except the crosser and you know we just took advantage i'm bringing that pressure i'm running 146 versus ghost and you know versus certain people i, I kind of come to the conclusion that certain people catch the 46 playbook for me and other people other players are gonna for me at least i'm gonna be running um you know like a playbook with 146 so whether it's baltimore new york giants tampa bay any var a variety or combination of those playbooks right here 
We catch him early on a third down and seven, but Slotomatic right there. Great dot. It's right here, man. We're setting up our one four six, and here comes Perry off that pressure. And let's go, Darnell Savage. I feel like Darnell Savage is, um, I'm going to say it, man. He's probably the best player on this defense uh, for the one sole reason is that he is 93 speed and you could user him. User is so important in regs. Obviously, Perry Nickerson is good. Jair is a goon. Amos is a baller. Zadarius Kenny Clark are up there as well. So on the defensive side of things, give me Darnell Savage at my user any day of the week. That's right here, guys. We're kind of moving. But not too much as right here we're on a fourth and three. And tell me how Levante David gets an animation right there, guys. I'm going to rewind this one time for you guys. Slow it down if you have to. I should have maybe motioned him out a little more. He just warps to the ball, man. It just doesn't make sense to me. I was definitely heated about that, but we're good, man. We're back on the defensive side of things. And that's, I just was a little mad because like for someone like Ghost, if you get a stop, it definitely feels like you have to take advantage. Because especially in regs, Ghost has a really good offense. Right here, he's going to hit this flat for a couple yards. And, you know, Ghost is slowly, I think, recognizing what he has to do. Maybe. He's right here. No, nah, I don't think so. Josh Jackson, throw it a sack. He just gets an awesome animation on the pick. That was a super nice animation, guys. That looked super clean as he salutes for your boy. That's right here, guys. Here's my new favorite play I like in regs. It's called Flood. Um, it kind of got bagged right there, but we do hit the comeback, bounce back route. And you guys, you saw it was kind of open, but he kind of got stuck. Um, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll make a breakdown for that for the offensive ebook. If you haven't already, go check it out down below in the link. Um, I definitely will update it. It's right here. We pop a run for no, not that many yards. And guys, I wouldn't say you should run this play in the red zone. That's right here. Um, my, my friend said I had the corner route wide open. I don't know if I did or not. I thought I could burn him over the top. Murphy Bunting is a little slower than MVS. It doesn't matter. He is tall and gets that pick. So, you know, I'm playing kind of dumb right now. It's right here. He hits, I think, corner strike or Z spot, one of the two for a nice chunk. I've had I've had two chances so far to, you know, kind of not end the game, but, you know, make it a very nice lead for us, and it just hasn't happened yet. It's right here. He's running verticals. Everything is bagged up. He's going to throw the ball away. And right here, second and 10. Big play right here. Um, remember remember when I was talking about Darnell Savage? Well, there he is coming up the A-gap for a nice sack. And because of that play, he was having he was forced to throw it away. It's right here. We're looking for Z-spot. And it's not there, man. We're going to throw it away. And here it is, guys. Here is the play. And it actually works this time. Flood to the sideline. Just a beautiful, crispy dot, if you ask me. And right here, we're once more in the bunch side. And I'm just trying to, you know, stretch the field out. It's right here. Crosser, not open. We're going to throw the ball away slash take off, and that's what we do. And, guys, we cook a route combo up right here. Ghost was running a lot of stock coverage. Robert Tanyan on a slant. Probably something you never expect to score you a touchdown versus a high-level opponent. But, hey, you got to do what you got to do. Right here, Ghost has finally realized that he's going to just sub in a wide receiver, or excuse me, a running back, and not have to be... Playing against the 146. And that's definitely something that, you know, it's it's a little gonna it's gonna be a little tough to play, you know, all these goons um without having a nice 146. Or even in that matter, without having a good, you know, uh 335 wide. So for example, right now I am in Giants playbook for that 146, but now I have Christian Kirksey and Ty Summers out there at linebacker, which they aren't bad, but they're not good at all. It's right here. Christian Kirksey does actually make a good hit for us. Right here, guys. Fournette just playing out drops that. That's kind of wild. I'm right here running a little bit of match. Um, and he actually, I feel like that was going to be a bag. But due to the fact that Ghost, you know, took a couple steps to the right, a couple steps to the right, he was actually able to manipulate that cloud zone and kind of just throw it over the top. So, you know, working on pocket is a big thing, man. It's right here, guys. I realize how much time he has, and you know, I just say, you know what, we're gonna run with some 146. And Josh Jackson, my low key underrated favorite player on this team, he just makes plays, he catches the ball, he makes interceptions. He has two picks right there. He was basically trying to throw that little corner route over the top, and you know, the red zone, the spacing is kind of condensed, and you just can't do that. You kind of got baited. 
So going into half now, man, we are up 14. I feel like this game is over because I feel like the Bucks aren't capable of a stop. It can you never know what could happen. It's right here, just a nice uh, curl route by Ghost and Slotomatic lighting up right there. I honestly had no chance of playing that even without Slotomatic. And here you guys go, probably a dirty play by the Savage. Hashtag I'm a Savage. User pick four six. And you know the thing about the Bucks is if you do get picked off. And, you know, it's only a couple people in the way. Brady is never going to catch me. I'm making sure to stun on Ghost. And that's going to be that for that game, man. GG's to Ghost. So this last game I have is versus the name I don't want to say. But he actually seemed like a good person. Is right here. I just throw a book. Not for six. But we are going to track him down at the seven, eight. Excuse me, the ten yard line. So this was a creep tag, guys. And he's in trips. And he did run one, four, six. So, I mean, I'm not sure who it was. It could be literally anyone. He's right here. Rashawn Gary, another underrated player, just makes his way. Gets that shed sack for us. He's right here. Third and goal early. We can't allow seven. You know, if you throw a pick on the first play of the game, in this game mode, it's kind of rough. It's right here. We should get it back. Oh, my goodness. Kevin King goes up there and swats it down. So, not a nice thing about Kevin King is he's six foot three. He actually gets glitched animations. He jumps like no one has ever seen. So guys, like I said, uh, holding a three, a huge dub. We're gonna run uh, this Z spot play and it's just wide open. I could have honestly pass that up if I wanted to. Maybe um, I recommend not doing that. Just take your yards if they're there. Don't get greedy guys. And guys, I'm just trying to slow the game a little bit down, you know, run the ball and boop. RPO bubble. Are we out of there, coach? Are we out of there? Yes, we are. Get sticky one time. We're going to stun on them. Tavon Austin, West Virginia University legend. We're going to be going up 7-3 to three now. So after he pops off the inside zone for a couple yards, I decide, you know what, let's just run some more match. More match. It's right here. Chandon Sullivan, someone who shouldn't even be in the game, gets in the game. We stun on them. Let them know what's going on. And, you know, he got that glitched animation where like the, the, the ball goes over your player's head. I wouldn't say that was the best read. We kind of did get lucky for that to be a pick six, you know, but um, for the most part, it was gonna get like one to two yards. It possibly could have gotten picked as well. So right here, run some more, run in the match, man. If you watch my latest Tip Tuesday video, you know how great this defense is. Can someone tell me if there's anyone open? No, you can't, because there wasn't anyone open right there. Um, I wouldn't say this is every down defense, it's definitely a defense you run, you know, versus the meta plays. As you see right here, I mix it up, man. I'm blitzing now out of the mana line look. And we're going to try to get pressure. And that's what we do. We get pressure. He had a couple players open, um, but I felt like I dialed it up. I definitely could have made a better adjustment on that right side to kind of cover up that little hitch. But, you know, we will take it. It's right here, guys. He's running a little bit of wide. Peep Austin, bro. Peep Austin. Is that going to be a dot? Is that a laser? That's a laser, coach. We're going to have to rewind that. And I'm hype right now. We're up big in the first quarter. And I don't know who this is, like I said, man. So nothing personal. But, you know, this guy definitely ran trips. And, you know, it's going to be a, a nice game. So I kind of had to turn on my sweat fest and, you know, get into it. As you see right here, guys, this is a replay. I just kind of ran mesh. Um, I was just freestyling it a little bit. It's right here. I playmaker up, take a step to the right, lob pass, and boom, Kadar Holloman could not get it. That was nice, Chad. I know you, I know you like that one. But right here, man, 100% easy to say that the MVP of this game so far is Tavon. As right here, his Tavon makes a nice play right there. And boom, right here, running another meta combo. And like I said, man, these, these plays... This coverage is really good versus the meta combos. Right here, send in the blitz. No one comes home. Great low ball dot right there. I'll admit it, that was a great dot. It's right here. The red zone is the dead zone. If I, you know, if I even, you know, don't play good defense and he does get held down here, I'll take that any day of the week. It's right here, nice sheds right there. And man, Rashawn Gary is a demon, like I said. Right here, we actually just get quick hike. And that's such a bad user. I could have made a play, bro. I could have made a play with Kevin King. He's a tall guy. Great for usering. Um, I definitely could have just came in the middle and maybe just made a play. But then again, just great dot right there. Great drive. Guys, I feel like if we score here, this game is all is pretty much over. It's right here. Nice stick work by Aaron Jones. 
A nice broken tackle right there. Aaron Jones is so good in regs, guys. Right here, man. Running mesh. We hit Aaron Jones once more. Juke him out of his socks. We're not going to score this time. I bet he was a little tired. And guys, right here, I, I want to say this is the Aaron Jones drive. I, I was just, just throwing to him all the time. Like, he had someone right there. We're still able to throw it. Hit a nice juke move. Not that many yards right there, but I just wanted to point it out that first three plays were to Aaron Jones. So, guys, after he's bagged me up a couple times, we kind of just go to this nice dot right here. Corner route runs fast, and I don't know why or how, but Zadarius Smith somehow finds his way on Devontae Adams. That's going to be it for this game. Um, he definitely does put up a second-half effort, but, you know, the score kind of stays the same. And, you know, there it is for Road to the Classic episode number two. Like I said in the next episode, guys, I plan to hopefully uh, show you guys the bracket, show you guys who I play, slash could potentially play first in, like, the early rounds. And we'll do a couple gameplays, maybe possibly the first two, first one round on each console. And, you know, those two videos will add up to make a nice video. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Stay safe, stay smooth. Like always, peace.